Hello everyone, welcome to my So of Course of Mind tutorial. This is a uh, part four where I'm going to address the rest of the AO techniques that most people will use. I probably should have done this first before showing how to make a custom AO map, but I didn't, so <laughs> better late than never. So, so if you're making AO map, so if you're converting a Forza model, they AO map and stuff should already be made onto the object. So if we sit there and click all the body parts, you know, like this, like this, uh, we got all, do we? Yeah, I think we got all of it. So we hide unselected. We go to uh, modifiers. We make something body. Then we go modifiers, UV coordinates, unwrap UVW, open UV editor. If you look, it's already AO'd like this. See, you don't have to touch anything, it's fine. Just leave it like this. It should be fine like this, so. But, let's say uh, we didn't want this wing on it. That's actually, let's say we wanted to put a different wing on it. So, uh, so what can I throw on here? Let's say some reason you wanted to put this stupid wing on it. So just for demonstration purposes, we're going to steal the wing. And we're going to X out, unhide all. Then we're going to uh, rotate this 180 degrees. So if we do zero, there we go. X is zero. Should all be lined up. Effect pivot only center object. This is all like object stuff I should have covered in a previous tutorial. But if we throw this on here, like I said, this actually doesn't look bad. I mean, it's kind of cursed, but it doesn't look too bad, actually. But, uh, so let's say we want to do that. And then we went through, you know, selected all our body panels. Uh, here, here, and then the wing, because we want the same colors for us to buy. My section, we forgot the hood. Hide selection. Yeah, we got. Whoops. Hide unselected. And then we go, you know, material. We throw body on it so it's all the same material. We got modifiers, UV coordinates, unwrap UVW, and look. The wing. Where's the wing? Well. The wing should be on here. There's way off the AO map somewhere. Oh, no, it's there. Where's it overlapping? Oh, I see. See how it's overlapping here? So, there's a technique where you don't have to re the whole car. I'll show you it right now. So, what we can do is click just the wing, unwrap UVW. We could take this, move it off the map like here, X this out. Highlight all the objects, unwrap UVW, and look, we can take the way and we can just move it off like here. There you go. This is good. Now, I'll show you another technique with uh, AO in a car if you're really lazy sometimes. So, let's go ahead and delete this. We'll import, uh, we'll go ahead and import, uh, Hum 3D model, why not? How about a Dodge Neon? That sounds like fun. Ah, yes, Dodge Neon. Best car ever. So if we go rotation, dude. Is it negative 270? No, it, it's just regular 270. Yeah, 270. Then we go... 
uh, right click and scale it down to 1% of the world, highlight, do 0, 0, 0. And we zoom in here. It's scaled correctly now and stuff, but let's say we want to AO the car, but we didn't feel like going through a tedious process we did before. So, do we have all the body panels selected already? Oh, it's all just one object. Okay, that makes it easier. So what we could do is, uh, the material's already on, so we go modifier, UV coordinates, unwrap UVW. We go open UV editor. We look here, it's all messed up. What we can do is, uh, hopefully this doesn't crash. Now, we have two options. You can hit quick peel and fly and map. Or you can just fly and map. Now, Quick Peel likes to crash, and it likes to crash a lot. Let me show. You, I'll show you what I'll do. Actually, let's go ahead and hit Quick Peel. See what happens. See not responding. Not responding. It might work. It most likely it's not because. It likes to crash with high poly models, like a HUM 3D model. So let's give it a minute. See if it'll unfreeze. It doesn't seem to be unfreezing yet, so uh, let's try clicking it. Oh no, yeah, it's crashing. It's crashing, and a little tip if, the, if uh, 3ds Max does that for you. There's nothing to really do. It's not going to really unfreeze. If you hit quick peel and it does that, you're just going to have to go here and end task. And then you're going to have to reopen 3ds Max. And I will show you a different way where it won't crash 3ds Max. <laughs> Once it loads, so let's go ahead. File, import, import. Home 3D. Let's import the Dodge Neon again. If you guys have trouble finding these models or you're interested in converting them, but you can't really find the Home 3 models, let me know and I can put a link in description to uh, the Hum 3D leak, leak where uh, somebody extracted them from the website and got them all free. I can do that if you guys want. I don't care. But uh, I'm just going to do the exact same thing we just did. So we only got the one by, so hide on select it. Then modifiers, UV coordinates, unwrap UVW, open UV editor. Okay, here's what we're gonna do instead. Since Quick Peel crashed it, we're going to go to mapping, fly and map. Make sure your settings are the same as mine. Hit OK. Now, as long as this number is moving every little bit, you're fine. This might take a while depending on uh, the speed of your computer and how high poly your model is so just be patient it'll work eventually there we go and we got it. so if you zoom in and look you can see little parts here and there you see all kinds of little strands here but some of the parts did kind of stick together and they get messed up too bad like if you look the doors stay together, the hoods stay together, the roof. So, technically, you could make a skin with this if you just want to do something with the doors or, like, the side here or whatever. But, and even the rear trunk piece stayed together. So, I guess you don't have to uh, do what I did in a previous tutorial if you don't care that much. It's the more correct way to do it, but you don't have to. So... That's up to you, but that's the result you'll get. You might not always get this result. It might be totally, it might be broken up a lot more than this, but this is a quick way where it will look the exact same as 
the previous method I showed you in the last video. It's just making skins is going to be a lot more difficult if possible. So that's one way. So that's how you uh, AO a body. Now I'm going to show you how to AO an interior. So let's go ahead and delete this. We're going to go ahead and import the Supra again. All right, so I'm gonna delete these. It doesn't matter. You should hide selection, but I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it all, so you guys can all see what's going on. You know. Okay, so oh my gosh, there's a lot of duplicate objects. I forgot how floors and models were, <laughs> but uh, so what we can do is let's say we want to go to seat. So if we you know, control click all the seats that you want the same uh, material or whatever. So all this here. Right click, hide unselected. And here are the seats. So, first thing you want to do is, you do want to assign material no matter what. Because, uh, the Forza things, material things, I don't trust that much. In general, it's just good, good to get in the habit. So, go ahead and put, rename a material and assign it to the object so we're going to call it uh, seats we're going to let then we're going to assign to selection okay now we go modifiers UV coordinates unwrap UVW open UV editor now I'll show you instance where a quick peel should work fine so we highlight it and make sure you have a uh, polygon selected when you do this we zoom out, you can double check, just kind of make sure there's nothing hiding up in the corners, or whatever. But you can highlight it via quick peel, it should work. See? And then you can map in, fly and map. Okay. And look at that. Using up all this space very well. So, that's one thing. Now, let's do something else. Uh, what do we want? Let's go ahead and do the headlights, because that's how you get the headlights looking really nice, like, on, uh, I'm sure you guys heard of Esperts models and stuff, how they look super nice. This is one of the reasons why, so, let's go ahead and do the headlights. So, if we select here, hide unselect it, if we look here, let's assign material, we'll call it headlights. Assign a selection, X out. Modifiers, UV coordinates, unwrap UVW, open UV editor. And for this, for demonstration, I'll show you, of course, you could just use regular fly and map or quick. Quick peel should work with this. Like if we have quick peel, it'll work. But no, you could just go and fly and map if you want. It doesn't matter that much, honestly. I like quick peel. I like the peel stuff, but eh. Let me look here. That's all good. Everything's fine. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. So, you might be wondering why should I AO stuff? What what is the benefit? Well, you want AO stuff like headlights, taillights, uh, these little plastic pieces on the outside, bigger plastic pieces on the inside. Like, you don't have to AO like really tiny things. Like, you don't have to AO like these little bar things here if you don't want to. But all the bigger stuff like the seats, the carpet, the dash, or whatever. You do want AO because uh, it allows for shadows. And I can actually demonstrate this uh, a little bit. Uh, I'll show you the difference between car with AO without. So if you notice here, the body is AO'd. I did a quick peel on it. I plan to go back and make the AO map. But I did a quick, quick peel. But you can see how... It's nice, shiny, it has shadows and stuff. Now let's add a car that doesn't have it in AO. Let me see what I have. Um, I'll show you an older mod. I don't think these have AOs. Maybe. Oh, actually I have an idea. I'll show you something that doesn't have an AO at all. Uh... This does not have an AO. This was a mod I made 
extremely long time ago when I didn't know what I was doing, but uh, if you look here, this shouldn't be AO'd. Nope, it's not, see? You can see a clear difference between them. Especially on the interior, look at this. See the interior of mine, how it's like shiny and kind of reflective and you know, it, it has like shadows, I guess, best way to describe it. But if you look here, it's kind of flat. If you know what I'm saying, even if we were to try, you know, a sign comes R34, plastic weather, it's still flat. Like, it just doesn't look that good, you know? Along with, you can't give it, like, any kind of, like, you know, texture to it. Like, if you look at my dash, you can see a little bit of texture to it. It's not the best. Like, I could probably make it a little better by multiplying a little higher. Yeah, it's a little better. Ah, I plan to go back and fix this a little better. But if you look here, it's it's flat. You could, you couldn't do that here because there's no AO map to for the multiplier. So that's the main reason why you want to AO stuff. So it doesn't look flat and dark and dull. I mean, look at this. You can't even see where the max seat is really. Over here, you can see rever. You can see very well. Like where the seats are and stuff, they they look it looks like a real car, you know. That's the reason why you want AO stuff, and especially with the headlights and tail lights. Like, look at the headlights. I mean, they look okay, I guess. But I mean, look at my headlights, especially my tail lights. Look at them. See, it looks like actual tail lights. It doesn't look flat and just bad, <laughs> but. uh that's the main reason why you want to AO stuff. And putting the time and effort into just doing something like that will make your mods a lot better. But uh, I think it's made the tutorial long enough. Like I said, just keep leaving comments on what you want to see. I'll keep making them, these tutorials, because I enjoy teaching people how to do this. And I'd like to see more people pumping out mods, because I want to drive them. <laughs> but... Uh, Thanks for watching. If you if this helped you, be helpful if you liked or even subscribed. Or I enjoy reading comments, of course. But uh, thanks for watching, and see you.